Hey fam, what's going on? Kurt with Caribbean Q. So I'm back at you with another five ingredient or less recipe, but I'm also gonna be showing love to all my gas grill owners out there. I know you guys are out there. So we're gonna show you how to create an entire meal at one time on the Weber Genesis. Let's go. So how do we plan on doing an entire meal at one time on this Weber? We're gonna have this side on high heat, which is gonna be where our ribeyes go. We're going to have the middle on medium low and we're gonna have this on medium low as well, where we're gonna grill our veggies here, put a cast iron skillet over here, and do our mushrooms on this side. So we're gonna be high here, medium low here, and medium low here. Let's go on to the next step. So the science behind it is all, you go hot, left, lower to the right. So this burner, it's re reading in at about 637 degrees. This middle part is reading in at about 550, and over here on the cast iron skillet, we're reading in at about 372. So let's go ahead and start on the far right, and we're gonna add our button mushrooms that are seasoned with island thyme. Let's get a little bit of butter in there, throw it in the skillet. Whoops and add our mushrooms. We're gonna put just a little bit of Italian dressing in there on these mushrooms and a little bit more island thyme. We're gonna let that take care of itself. It's gonna saute itself. Then over here in the middle, we're gonna add our peppers. I've brushed them with olive oil and we're gonna go ahead and put them skin side down. Add some nice color, as they say, eat the rainbow. Now, on our far left, we're gonna go ahead and add these ribeyes from Felton Angus Beef. You have some bone-in ribeyes that we're gonna go ahead and sear off. And on top, we're gonna add some green onions just because, why not? Now, if you want to cut your peppers smaller, feel free, but I would definitely use a basket or something so they don't fall through the grates like I'm having happen here. Go ahead, shut the grill, and we're gonna turn those steaks 45 degrees in about two minutes. So here we are at two minutes in, we're just gonna turn our ribeyes to a 45 degree angle and we're gonna flip our veggies over, get a nice char on them. We don't wanna cook this long. And at this point, our mushrooms are pretty much nice and sauteed over here. We're gonna go ahead and shut the grill, leave these on for two more minutes, flip them over and repeat the 45 degree turn. So here we are two minutes later. Let's go ahead and flip these ribeyes. We have beautiful cross hatches. We, we eat with our eyes. Now at this point, let's go ahead and start removing our veggies because all we have are two minutes left. We're gonna go ahead and take our veggies off. Remember your cast iron skillet is super hot. By the way, these peppers were brushed with island thyme and the steaks, the ribeyes were, um, we use big and bold beef on those. Make sure you don't forget to get a cast iron, to get a cast iron skillet off with a glove nice sauteed mushrooms put those on the side of your grill we're going to let these go two more minutes and then check the temperature on it go ahead and turn these 45 degrees and we should be approaching whatever medium rear is for me i like to pull them off at about one 25 and then let them rest. We're at 115. That one's at 125. Let's go ahead and give it another couple minutes, pull them off, put them on the tray and take them inside to let them rest. So here we are folks, exactly about nine and a half, 10 minutes later, we have our beautiful charred peppers with island thyme. We have our sauteed mushrooms and butter and a little bit of Italian dressing. And we have our perfectly done medium rare bone-in ribeyes that are just amazing. So you can cook one meal, especially in this heat, really fast on your gas grill. 
Like or comment below. Let us know what you think. Kurt with Karibiku, out.